Hi, Caitlin. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm Caitlin. I'm Jackie. And this is Caddy Jack's Knits. Yes, and we're a podcast all about knitting and everything we love. And lingerie and right. yeah. And and and. Yes. Right. So it's been a while. I know. You left me. <laughs> I'm I've been Abandoned? Pine, abandoned and pining over you, but it's But okay. I took you with me in my heart. Oh, right. Wherever That's what they always say, right? <laughs> it's like nice consolation prize. So. I should have worn the caddy necklace the whole oh, time. Oh, you I was should. In yeah. 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 You should. Taking you with me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You heard that she went to Montreal yes. without me. Yes. That's so, okay. yeah. So let's just officially say hello to all of you. Hi. So, those of you that are coming back and have binge watched and have been waiting for this episode, <laughs> we hope you think it's worth it. I think you were on 18, just like my oh, son. Oh, right. Number 18. 18. Ooh, wow. Uh-huh. 18. We're and almost you can, we're adults now. We'll put show notes somewhere, I think right there. And you can like and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. And all of that good stuff. Yeah. And we love it when you leave comments oh, we and do. we try to respond to them and um, we do read them all and it really, I know we say it every time, but it really does make us feel so good to hear from you and yeah. anyway. And we're on Instagram. I, I can't remember anymore, but we have Caddy Jack Snits Instagram yeah, and, and personal ones. Yeah. We'll link it below. Yeah. Way. Who cares it, what it was this funny. sounds like. Or... I don't know who she, I forgot her name, but there was a young woman, I'm assuming she's young, I have no idea why, who needed help with the cow. Volgante and so did oh, you yes. with brioche. Yes. So we did a foray into like live video. <laughs> yeah. I hopefully we haven't heard I don't I, I, know, I like, haven't heard so from her. If I you're went, out there, let us know how it went. Yeah, because mine we'll talk about that. Mine's not going so well. Jackie's going to be helping me today fix it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm really happy to. Um and then um I had been oh, I wish I remembered your name too, but I hadn't been messaging back and forth with a woman who was doing um her ranunculus and was mm-hmm. like sending me photos and I was like I, I can't and then finally I was like she, I was like do you want me to just call you and she's like sure so we had a little oh yeah we, we talked to them last night no this is oh, like a okay. week ago uh, this is what I do when you're not around oh, okay. you know I'm looking for other people to talk to talk and, about yeah. anyway so we talked on the phone and I tried to walk her through it and we've been messaging back and forth about the progress and um, the ranunculus I think is a challenge but it's worth Mm-hmm. powering through but mm-hmm. anyway so that's been fun so you know we're open to um chatting about knitting and helping each other out though mm-hmm. you know i'm sure when people get me instead of jackie they're like but i wanted jackie to help oh. me <laughs> well you you can do we can both help we can both help yeah um yeah no now, yeah i i bounced into that conversation and i know she's in a uh really in important time in her life too that's taking a lot of her other concentration Mm -hmm. and so it is interesting how we have different needs from our knitting yes and I was like well maybe you need something really simple that loves some knitting that loves you back well and you are always encouraging me to do that because Mm -hmm. it is hard when you run into like snags and frustrations and and then you just want to throw it against a wall and yeah this morning I thought about if I was going to frog the whole, my whole whip, and I had to have a whole, like, talk with, talk with myself about wow. it. Yeah. You didn't even, like, phone a friend. <laughs> Isn't that what I'm, 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 I'm You didn't phone a friend. I know. Well, I almost didn't want to. I almost you didn't, didn't want to admit. Wanna, no, I almost didn't want a podcast, oh. A, because it wasn't an F. Oh, I know. I know, because but you're crazy. And I just was like, that is ridiculous. My sister, who has to live with me, <laughs> and that's, like, in many ways. You know, has to put up with me. Um, it's not all this. No. Oh my God. No. She like like you're the biggest pain in the. Yes. 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 True. Right. True. I'm working on Some it. Some people would say high maintenance. Oh, but delightfully. Delightful. <laughs> That's called spin. <laughs> right. <laughs> spin. Is that how you? Is that how you? Yeah, okay. exactly. I lure you in, and then you're like, okay, like God. Centric. Actually, okay. <laughs> what? Well, no, I'll go for well, it. So I th- I've come up with a new term. Oh. Yeah. So for those of you who have maybe encountered us out in the wild at different knitting things, um, they, some people might have experienced that you love to take pictures of people, and you love to... Ask I them do? Quite, we're talking about me. We're talking about you. Everybody likes to do that. No, 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 you. Oh. We're talking about you. So okay. I have a term for. Oh no. 
for our experience, okay, right? I'm ready. And so like you you you're just engaging with people and like some people like our friend Mary Ann that we met yeah. 30 seconds oh, in at Firefly. Hi, hi Mary Ann. Um you she walked she had her <laughs> ranunculus sweater um, by Midori Knit Cafe in case people were like, "What's this ranunculus you're talking about? It's this beautiful sweater. Check it out. We'll link it below." Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, she walked in. We were chatting with her and then she told us she was knitting ranunculus out of um, linen and so she got it out and then you're like oh my god can I do a live can I do an Instagram live and she <laughs> I didn't like turn the part. color <laughs> yes she turned beet red and was like a deer in the headlights of you want to put me on live Instagram you know Instagram stories and we talked her through and then I and I was watching the whole thing transpire and you got her to do it yeah and she was did a great job but I think the term is you've been catty jaxed. <laughs> verb. I love yeah, right? turning things into verb. Right? Yes. yes. I was like, Absolutely. it was totally like, here I am, like this poor woman. And Jackie's like, let me just photograph <laughs> you. And you can't see it on, yes. but you have a, a stance where, yes. you know, oh, and you're like yes. getting it and like photo styling. I was like, she's been catty jaxed. <laughs> That's so, so funny. right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's so perfectly. Yeah. I think all of you out there who have been caddy jacks, you should yeah. feel like, you know, we need like <laughs> a stamp. To me, you can it comment stamp. below. Yeah, it yeah. happened to me. Well, um, that's anyway. amazing. And Marianne, we ended up seeing her again at Stitches Midwest. Right. And, and we were ready. And I told her I was going to Montreal, and she is wow. from Montreal. So she sent me an itinerary, and I dutifully. Did many of the really? things. Really? And mean, she was oh, spot on with all of it. Oh, absolutely. That's amazing. great. So, so if you need you. to know about Montreal, Marianne. Marianne. <laughs> Marianne Kidd on Instagram. Anyway. And and I wonder, I haven't looked in her feed to see her beautiful linen ranunculus oh. yet. And then she was wearing Bed of Roses necklace. Yes. And she's, we, yeah. So she we got, got, she we, got jacked <laughs> twice. <laughs> three times maybe. And, but she clearly oh, like she, came back from yeah. war. Um, because that's what people often do. Like, you may feel like the pain at first, but then it's like a good bruise where you're like, that oh, feels really, oh. right? Okay. Yeah, okay. see, I've been hanging out with you too long. Oh, like, you know, spinning I know. everything. I want to hear more about yeah. a good bruise. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay. <laughs> let's, okay. Let's, let's sit with that for a second. Okay, okay. okay. Anyway, um... She joined our Sunday knitting group, yeah. and um, we, and, anyway, that was just lovely, and she's lovely, and I think she'll bring her friend next time, and oh, that, so, good. anyway, so, yeah, so, we outgrew the chocolate for the week, and went to, the, oh, oh, yeah, so, the, our patio, yeah, our friend Peg, Peg, um, had, makes her own tonic, which mm. was exciting, and she served, her husband, Michael, served as gin and tonics, and knitting, so, so the husband was there to serve Yes, it was drink. so cute. That is awesome. Yeah, so you weren't there because, oh, you were in Montreal. But you did miss a good that. thing. But so we were on the screen in porch, and there was a window to the kitchen. And so every time he created this big, you know, cocktail, he'd put it on the window ledge, and he had a little kitchen bell, like, ding, your That's cocktail's awesome. ready. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it was really yeah. good. Yeah, so, cocktails and knitting is always aspirational. It, well, it happens, until you perfect. drop a stitch or... Oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. But you always have to have your limits. Absolutely. Right, do you have those? I do. In okay. fact, I'm going to show them right now because I'm going to take this off very shortly. Okay. But we, I just yes. wanted to pull... I was getting... I was cleaning up my room for this morning and pulled these out and just had this desire to, 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 to wear to, them yes. together. And this oh. is what we used to... I mean, we still wear them. They're they're woven. They're silk. What are they called? Um, Do you remind they're, me. The the design or the yeah designer is Chan. I think it's no Chan Lu. They're the I best. Think Chan There's Lu. so many they're colors. Silk. Yeah. Um. I mean, they're an investment piece, but they're beautiful. Yeah. And long absolutely. And, and you tie knots in them. Oh, and they're just like feathery light. Look yeah. At, I mean, look at that. Yeah. And I even got a little hole in this one, oh, and it? I just knotted it. Oh, I that's got, well, that, that was, was my, brilliant. That was my, well, there's a hole in yeah, there. Yeah, oh, they're well. kind of, they're fine, but. Yeah. Anyway, so And they're just lovely, but I think I'm going to take it off hot because now. I'm getting hot. And then, yeah, and for the rest of the, ooh, ooh excuse hello. me. hello. Okay, the rest of our what we're wearing, too. Yes. These are our beloved Melissa Jenkins, and she'll be back from maternity leave and some she point. brought she came to she's been on maternity leave she's in our knitting group and she came for the first time to her baby goldie <coughs> goldie Yay. she's a month old and she finally was able to come to knitting and i got to 
take the baby and hold the baby the whole time. And Melissa was knitting, and we were feeding day. her and, mm. and pampering her. And um, so, yeah, she's on maternity leave. Um, and we don't just wear these earrings because we're trying to promote oh, her. We no, absolutely we, love her jewelry. There are passports of feeling, you know, Amazing. Yeah. And the Jackie has borrowed these from me. I did trade. I gave you the lotus yeah, earrings, I, but I know that's another one of my Yeah, it's like and I tried to get it back oh for my, my God, little I, just, I, I was gonna I was go like, out for one night and I was like, Do you think I could um I borrow back and you're like, I gave you the lotus <laughs> earrings and I was like, So that's a no? Okay, I'm totally the worst. I, really I know. Are, it's I like know. territorial. And oh, I was God. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. whatever. No, but those look those look good on both of us. And maybe I should just buy a pair. Right. But that just seems... Right, it's I know. It's sort of like... We could just... It's yeah. good. Yeah. Anyway, so... Yeah. Anyways. Let's try to sit up straight. I know. I want... I saw that she made these in, in natural, and I thought oh, that would be really good. That color, though, is, yeah. is your color. But isn't it interesting, like... Aren't we all fantasizing about the hundreds of pairs we want? Aren't you still? Uh, yes, fantasizing is definitely the word I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but on to the knitting, right? Right. So we have to and our should, adventures. Yeah, and we've had a lot. lot. So I we'll just kind of segue. Backwards. Adventure yarn. Adventure okay. yarn. Okay. I think. So the first adventure was um, the um, the, the yarn event. crawl yeah. at, at Firefly. Firefly, and the party. Cal oh, finale, right. yes, and our party top, Cal. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, and and that was delightful. We had and so we want to thank again, beautiful sisters. Oh, we love we you have, guys. Yes, <laughs> and and Elisa from Firefly, Heather for and Hillary, Heather and Hillary, all yeah. of you, all of you. For they had a trunk show there, and all of and then those were the prizes. Yeah, and 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 so we got to take some photos of some people wearing their party tops with mm -hmm. us and. It was mm -hmm. super fun, and we still are. I'm, we're still getting people who are tagging the mm -hmm. the party top Cal, even though it's over, and that's super fun to mm -hmm. see. And yeah, so that was. And Caitlin did the cutest thing. She brought her vintage suitcases, oh. and we brought all our knits that we made with yarn from Firefly fiber. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> just our traveling people. trunk show. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. It is so much fun to see finished objects and yeah. be able to try them on yeah. and that's what Marianne did she yeah. tried on a bunch of things yeah. and I, well, I can't remember what she opted to make but she did get either. yarn she yeah. did get a sweater's quantity and that is our first FO oh. of the day is right behind us so is <clears throat> I guess you could pull it off oh I, really. is that what I can do? or I could pull it off oh look you've got oh my I God. know oh, right I can't remember the hopefully okay, you so can I'm help me okay so Sally, my mother was there. Oh, I see it's right here. Okay. Just don't move. Oh, there it is. Right there. Yep. Oh, I have a little. No, you have a little. I have it. I have oh. it. I have oh, it. in your hand. Okay. Everything. Okay. <clears throat> she saw a sample. Again, a sample in the store. So she was just like, "That I want wait, that." Wait. So wait. Talk oh, about. Oh, I'm it. sorry. Very Shannon. Yep. Beautiful. I can't read it back. Bradway. <clears throat> and she had really wanted. I can't remember. Oh, this was the yarn color she had started with oh, that she so really beautiful. wanted. And then she went, and I don't actually know the name of that one, but this oh, is it's in here. Brooklyn Tweed Shelter. There's Camper. It's either Camper or Cinnabar, I think it's this Camper. This is Camper. This one's Camper. <clears throat> it's then, beautiful. It's got these little flecks. I don't know if it's showing up well. Yeah. Flecks of cream and little orangey bits. And Cinnabar and Postcard. Oh, oh. So those are her choices. Beautiful. Yep. And then we'll. And I do. And then she did get oh. a little, um, beautiful sister oh, project. Sweet. I didn't realize she had And this that. is her Lock and Lou Progress oh, Keeper. Sweet. It's a Monarch Chrysalis because we currently have one in our porch right now. Oh, you do. Thing. Yeah. So this is. <clears throat> I, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised at how this feels because you know mm -hmm. I'm, it's really tactile. And then. This great mm -hmm. um, closure. Oh, there's another way to wear this too. Oh, um, oh do it the other way. So uh, that's what their yeah. the brand is. What, can you read it? Wrap around. No, that's oh P H. I don't know. I don't know the brand. So you'll oh. have to go to Firefly. To They're figure beautiful it out. leather um, closures, and they have all different kinds of like buckle style and um, this one. So I yeah, think you show that, me the other okay, one because well, I just do all that. Oh, do you want me to take it off? No, I think it's hold on. Okay. Wait for it. 
Well, then well anyway, I don't know. She, she, I think you just, I think she did it so you sort of, this is pretty um, chunky. Yeah. But like you wind it through again and then tie it off here. Oh, anyway, okay. But it's beautiful. I'm going to pull it off so people can sure, see. Sure, absolutely. So they um, can see the shawl. Oh, and the leather. And the just leather. beautiful. Yeah, and they I had feel it like black. there's lots of ways to do it. There's lots. And, and you I, can wear this bracelet. You can? Yeah, you could definitely wear it. I'll, I'll work on that. You okay. Show the shawl. Sure. Um, <clears throat> it took her, you know, she got it done yesterday, so it was a pretty quick knit, and, you know, it has a center spine. She redid it a couple times. I think I'm showing the wrong side. I am. Anyways, it's there beautiful. it is. I believe it was six skeins of yarn, but I'm not sure. So there's that. That was sad. We'll have the notes down below. Yes. And, um... Oh, so I'm sorry, we, I'm just trying to... I bought... A, I'm, oh, very cool. You know, it's cool, right? Oh, I like it. And you could turn it around. And you got a black one, I right? got a black one. And I put that in my mother's basket. Didn't really think about it ever again. Just kind of tossed it. And then it was purchased. <laughs> oh, is that how it works? That is Cynthia, so... you've got a yeah, yarn shop. Yeah, right. Enough. We'll put some things in your basket. <laughs> That's my mom she's referring to. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, this is just lovely. Yeah. And what do you, would the, you, I mean, what? what do you think of the colors? It's I love the colors. I mean, it's very orangey. I love, like, the pops of, it's orangey. It's, the red is a good red. Like, I'm not a red person mm -hmm. or a blue person. Oh, yeah. I never talked about red. Yeah. But this is definitely an orange. Yeah. Anyway, it's beautiful. Yeah. So, That's then the other thing that we got there I did I got something is when we were at um, Michigan um, there was a woman wearing this top and it was oh, just beautiful. stunning so you can't really see it here but there's lace all down the shoulders mm -hmm. and it's just this very loose flowy yeah. shape and the the yarn is meadow yarn by um, the fiber company mm -hmm. and it's llama silk linen and merino wool sounds terrible I know and I couldn't believe it they had I've already scanned it up because I brought it with me thinking I knit it in Montreal but I didn't do it so it's not very exciting for you to look at at all so I apologize but I got some and it's two skeins and it's I just really look forward to swatching that up it's gray but it it, it, definitely in the light it has a blue cast to it yeah it's but it's beautiful yeah I'm very excited so it's this is one of those and we all need to, I don't know what do we need well it's one of these that isn't showy at oh. first but it's just a magnificent yeah. drape and it's a magnificent okay. basic piece but just that little yeah. bit of lace is just all you need and you could wear it constantly so definitely look this up here's a good picture of the yeah the, the way the arms are and well actually the sure. schematic can you show the oh, schematic I, I mean what's wrong with showing that? i guess it's, it's i mean wrong. you know so you can see the detail it's of the lace kind of, right here yeah and the shape of it those lovely origami unusual sort of constructions yes. so i look forward to doing it it'll take a little discipline because it's a I'm, lot of stockinette. Yeah, exactly. So it's good. Like that's perfect. That maybe that should be your school knit. I know. That's I need work right. knitting. So that's because I go I back August fifteenth. Just leave it until we're sure. Oh. So um, that is it's beautiful. In the that, the plaster. The plaster. Yeah. Plaster. This is the you know the bag that you go ahead and you purchase. Not the one in the backpack. Oh, you know, I was the like, one I don't understand one, what that means. smaller one right. in the backpack. Right. Um, this one's so, larger. Yeah. Beautiful color. Yeah. Very love... okra. Yeah. O ochre, not okra. Okra. <laughs> oh, it's a vegetable. vegetable. A green vegetable. Yeah. And mm. Ochre is... is the color like that. You yeah. Know. In, uh, sorry, I'm thinking of the Renaissance and all those paintings, right? And right. That's how, exactly yeah, what exactly. I was thinking about, too. <laughs> and you viewers, is that what you were thinking? Um, okay. Okay. So, so that was Firefly. That was a wonderful event. And then that was on a Sunday. And then I went directly to Door County. Oh, right. You went to Door County. You left me again. To this. Oh, is it? Oh, it I'm is. Glad you've got this all timed out. Uh huh. This is the Jackie segment. So her trips, her her lips. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just. Am I just in your hold way? That. Am I in your way? What's this? 
I made that. I love that. Thanks. I made a. Uh, I oh, made a. I, I love that. I made a tassel for my zip. What'd pull. you make it from? Um, I had Beautiful. some linen, and I just did it. Oh, I love that. Yeah. What about the button? Show the button. Did you um, make the fabric button? The fabric button was just in my mother's button, oh, so I thought, and it makes the zipper more. I actually want to make tassels for all my project bags, yes. or actually, and pom poms and yeah. all of stuff. So this is from Beautiful Sister. I love the buffalo plaid. You I had logo. just some more badness on my part. I had thought, oh, this would be a really nice gift for Jamie, but I didn't give it. Uh, to originally, me. I had thought that you oh. know I wanted to. Well, actually, I did. I had thought. I wanted to give my sister a beautiful sister project bag, and actually oh, fulfilled that's that. I did. Do yes, that. right. So, but she got. Oh, herself that's so a big cute! Look. I never even thought about the connection with the sister. That's and great. And I do have to tell you, I took, I, I took this project everywhere with me in Montreal. Mm -hmm. I carried this everywhere. It's so hilarious, and I worked on it maybe one time, but that's okay. So this went to Door County. <clears throat> and when we were in, oh my god, it's shedding all in your yeah, bag. it does. It is shedding. Wow, yeah, that's a new yeah. So in here, which mm. I will pull out, mm. we went to Wool and Honey, and there was a plucky trunk show, and I had Haley had hi Haley. <laughs> she had the most beautiful Ninilchek swancho. We all oh, this is I can't show this part. This is all the patterns. But here, I'll look for it. You okay, need to talk. Um. And I I'll be your assistant. I tried hers on. Oh my goodness, look at that. And I fell in love with it, and she let me wear it, and she said, oh. Oh my gosh. Well, gee, look how far you are. Yeah. You're done with the color work. Yes. Wow. So she said, oh my take gosh. it to the campfire. You can wear it. And yeah. I saw so hers. So you're down here. You just have yeah. sleeves. Yeah. yeah. Hers is so graphic and amazing. Like So is I like, yours. No. I mean, this is hers. Oh, this yes. Is oh, basic. okay. I just okay. copy. I ordered from her. So this is Beauregard, which is yak and cashmere, and I have to tell you, do you feel how it feel how good it feels? Oh, my God. I mean, right? Yeah. That feels so oh, good. Oh, that is more luxurious than just cashmere. Yeah. It, it's, it's... I think... Wow. On a few episodes back, remember how I said I wanted to muck a barn and be really warm and that I don't have enough warm sweaters? I think this will feel fabulously warm. Yes. I think it yes. will be oh, I think so it, comfortable yeah. and warm. Yes. This is what I want to live in. Something super soft and cozy and yeah. it's gorgeous. And yeah. I'm so jealous. So here's why This I podcast is really hard for me. Really hard for me. So if you'd like to comment okay. and offer some support. Why? What's going on? Because I'm so like having what um like just want my yeah. own. Okay. Like, yeah. I want it knitted for me. I know. <laughs> you should actually plucky now. I plucky. You can order yarn yes. from them. Yeah. And order and I order definitely think you yeah. should get this yarn yes. and make this I, swan show because oh, their yeah. colors. I mean, I really have to say, yeah. look at how striking they are. Yeah. This was why well, I her want, choice. Her color selection yeah. is. I mean, that she's truly a genius, right? This is why I wanted to frog this. <laughs> This is what you wanted to frog? Okay. I know. Okay. How about you just gift this one to me and I'll okay. buy you the I'm yarn gonna, for another I'm gonna one. I'm going to talk you through my... my I, so th there's a thing about... I'm a novice color work knitter and deciding when to catch your floats and when to float and how to do your tension mm -hmm. and all of yeah. that. So did you go Did you go up needle no. size or down? No. Oh. So I maybe caught my floats too much, uh -huh. maybe, so it looks a little like, you know, there's it'll red dots. Out. Maybe it'll walk out and all that. See the red dots and the sneeze? <laughs> Are you allergic to your sweater? <laughs> Excuse me. No, no, I'm not. But, <laughs> okay, but anyways, whatever you say. But the one I tried on was blocked and finished, yeah. so maybe that's the issue. But you can see how you can see these little bits of black, and I was like, Maybe I shouldn't have caught them. Mm -hmm. And so, and then. Can we see the other side of it? The inside? Yeah. What? They, my floats are terrible. Oh. So no. Right. But yes, I don't really care. So see how the, my, the floats look normal in the yeah. sort of regular yeah. parts where you'd go three, three, three. They look really normal. But like where, where there's just one, 
Let me see if I can show you a section. Like I have some really huge yeah. floats because I was trying to like not be too tight. And so I would knit along and I would push it all the way over to the right to make and then do the new stitch. Think because I have one color in one hand and one color in the other mm -hmm. hand. And I'm thinking the dominant color is with my left mm -hmm. hand. And so the right color, that's the one where I had really big floats. And maybe I knit too loose and whatever, but this is the conclusion I came to this morning was, fuck it. I, excuse, excuse me. <laughs> I have to learn and I have to be okay with my color work and all of that, you know, so. But that being said, there really is nothing wrong with if you really feel like it's not a representation of how you want it to look. Yeah. To frog it, but I mean, I no, certainly I wouldn't don't, frog it because no, that seems that's I don't a lot. Think so I don't either. Because it reads from here. It you know what? You can always fine. block it unfinished and see what you think, and then if it really doesn't do what you want. No, I think it's a big, see, look at, this is what you it's see. It's a whole grand it's scheme. It's a graphic yeah. thing. Yes. And so if you want to go through life looking at it and going, oh, look, it's kind of orange right there. Yeah. That's my choice. Or I could go, It oh, got a lot look. bigger than, remember when you started, you thought it was going to be small. I love this little detail right there. Yeah. Um, that you thought it was smaller than you thought wanted. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's, it's a ton of stitches. Yeah. I can't even recall. Wow. But anyways, oh I gosh, do love I it. can't wait no, to try it on. Yeah. You can try it on right now if you want. I could, but I'm, um, I'm going to wait. Anyways. That is I'm, glorious. I'm oh. just going to let that be. I've decided, like there are times when I go frog, I'll tell you about um, fixing an error in my next project, but that's one where it's just on the continuum of my learning. And I don't want to, remember last year at this time when I was doing a, so faded and I was gonna frog the whole shawl for the third time and I decided no I you mean need, what the fade what the fade yeah. yeah I decided no I need to progress well that's where I am with this I need okay. to stay in the spirit and the spirit of that was it's my birthday present mm -hmm. it reminds oh, me oh right happy birthday oh, yay. yay thank you it reminds oh, I have somewhere but I don't know where they are I still have Tracy's birthday glasses that we all oh, wore on the funny. beach. Oh, that's funny. Grocery girls. It's my souvenir from that time oh. and that joy, and also just Haley being so generous. Mm -hmm. And so I want to just live in the spirit of that and not the spirit of my perfectionism. Which That sounds very grown up for you. It's, it's Wow, what a difference two weeks can make for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm thinking um, that should be, you should send a message to James at some point about, I have an idea for a Christmas present for Kate Oh, Ray. good idea. Right? Yeah. Right? Well, we could do like a gray and yellow one. Oh. Well, well yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Do you, I heard about the Plucky, have you downloaded the Plucky app No, yet? but I thought it was amazing. Yeah. I saw, yeah. so what's it, who, it was who, the grocery girls. Grocery we're girls were talking it. about the Plucky has an app that is just, I think I would spend a lot of time on it. Um, yeah. Anyway, exactly. well, that's super exciting. Yeah, so um, that was Door County. Okay, and then are we finally back from Door we're, County? Yep, we're back and, from Door County. And then, I worked on that in the beach and the sand, and it was fabulous. I'm just saying. While you were at work. But you will be doing the same thing. Yes, I'm going to Cape Cod tomorrow. tomorrow yes, for an entire week. right on the ocean. Yes, well, I'll be in Dennis with my good friends, um, Jim and Betsy, and my husband, and we're just going to do nothing but sit on the beach. Does Betsy have access to a sailboat out She there? has a sail. She has a little sunfish, so okay. we can, yes, so we'll sail. And anyway, that is coming up tomorrow, and I, I will be posting lots of beach knitting post exactly. pictures. Just to be like, Jackie, look right now. I'm totally yeah, absolutely, do um, it. But anyway, so you got back from Door County, and then we had a, a field trip to yeah. Stitches Midwest. Um, our friend Heidi um, is a hostess extraordinaire. Oh my. And she was like, I have five seats in my car. Who wants to come? So we went with Rebecca mm -hmm. and, um, and mm -hmm. Kayla and you and I. Mm -hmm. And um, Heidi had adult beverages in the car for us, some lovely little, mm -hmm. and we, fruits and snacks, fruits and, mm -hmm. snacks, and mm -hmm. we, um, we, so we drove to, sh to about two hours to Schaumburg, Illinois, and um, we and got to And she doesn't need home. navigational assistance. No, she's, 
Yeah, she saying. did not need your help. No. Yeah, Jackie yeah, was in the true. like the. I went the, in the baby seat. Yeah. She, what do you call that? Like the the, the the third row. Yeah. She was I'm, way back I'm there. Fine we couldn't with even that. see her. I don't get sick or anything. And so we road tripped there, and um, and we spent. So that was on the Friday, and we spent the whole day there, and um, we got there early, and there was a serious line to get in, and I think we realized we didn't have any caffeine yet, so you oh. found a Starbucks. Oh, pause, pause, pause. Heidi made all of us. I don't have mine handy. Oh, she, I have it. Go oh, good. She made all of us. Oh, she made us shawl. all little shawl cuffs. Yeah. Each one was different. She's used them from recycle or made them from recycled belts. So mm -hmm. I got a green one. Mm -hmm. But she gifted us. It was like our mm -hmm. little road trip gift. Yes. Um, and she also made. Oh, this she gave to me because I'd helped. I mean, I was like, you do not need to do that. But wow. It's so fabulous. I haven't seen this. So this is a double-pointed needle case. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. She made. Look at how beautiful that yeah. is. Oh, look She's, at the little, look at the little closure. It's got a little yeah. rhinestone. She, she makes her own shoes. She makes her own She bag. makes her own everything. She's incredible. She's writing a baking cookbook right yeah. now. And on Instagram, she's Heidi Baker Maker. Yeah, we'll, so, we'll link her. She's yeah. got great. Yeah. So Heidi is um, a force to be reckoned with. Oh my gosh. So yeah. and so we got to Stitches Midwest and we waited in line and then we were like, why are we rushing to get in line? And Jackie's like, I, there's a Starbucks in the hotel that was attached. And what a feat! Feat to behold. Feet? Feet? Whatever. Yeah. You walk through. So it was at the Renaissance Hotel in Schaumburg. You walk through this beautiful bridge from the mm -hmm. convention center to the hotel and then we entered the lobby and it was like ah! mm -hmm. it was beautifully appointed with all of these amazing couches gathering and space gathering like, and like private and public them. and it had skylight running through the whole thing so you got your starbucks and we put a few pictures on instagram we found mm -hmm. this gorgeous couch. We chose pink. the seating area yes. that matched our So we outfits. just lounged and we sat there for an hour and knitted while the rest of our friends went into stitches. We're like, we could just be here. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. So we knitted. And but then eventually by the end of the day, all the, I mean, I Everyone. suppose the people who actually t attended classes and stayed for days yes. were using that, the, but it felt like oh, our own discovery. We were like, I mean, I would drive down there just to, to just spend the day and knit in that space. It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, and then we went in and, you know, met so many people yes. and hardly had an opportunity to shop. The but, shopping was amazing. Um, but I, hello to everybody yes, that we met there. Yeah. And you we know, ran into Meg from Wool and Cookies mm -hmm. and her friends from the Three Ply Podcast, and mm -hmm. it was just a love fest, which was mm -hmm. really amazing. And there were great vendors, um, and and then we we also went to the diversity discussion that mm -hmm. was hosted by um, CC and um, Brooklyn Boy Knits and Michelle, Michelle. from 144 Stitches and. Oh, I'm forgetting the other woman's name. Yeah, I'm not sure. What All right. Name well, is. anyway, I put a post up. Yeah, with her name. It was on. an. It was a great discussion. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, and then we went back. You could just come and go to this event, which was really lovely. Yeah. Um, and um, it's funny because I don't have anything prepared to say on the discussion, but yeah. I do think we should just pause sure. there and just say that um, their whole tone was very much like a gratitude that the discussion yeah. is taking place yeah. and b wanting to keep veering toward this place and i know this i guess from education where there's discomfort yeah. and learning but it's supported by care and patience and mm -hmm. great and they kept referring to it as grace, grace. the grace to mm -hmm. be present to learn to listen to one another yeah. And they kept reinforcing that, and um, I thought that was a beautiful message. It you know was. that we could all do more, and that, and we all have made some movements, but that there's of course more to be done in everybody's individual lives. Right. But that at the same time, while you're doing that, to do that with a sense of compassion for yourself and compassion for the the maybe the person who has. And the, and the courage that's involved with change and right. all of that. They really were, they really framed it as an ongoing, yeah. sustainable discourse that, that was very, I guess, very loving. It was. They, it was very approachable and, and inclusive. And 
and yet the work there's a lot work of to be pain done. and yeah. a lot of work to be done in that area but um, it was really nice to be grounded in the, their approach. Yeah, and and um, kudos to the Stitches um, organization for putting it on and mm -hmm. just creating space for that. That was it was really important, and it was such a good thing to be able to just step away from sort of commercialism, you know, mm -hmm. and, and just have a moment or more than a moment to just sit with a group of people, and it was lovely too. Everyone was knitting in the mm -hmm. audience. It was just a really beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, Discussions, so yeah, um, we were so glad yeah. to be anyway. to have that. Part. Yeah, it was great. Yes, and uh, then we. Well, I mean, I would if I. I thought what was great about Stitches Midwest it was it was very manageable, mm -hmm. right? There was so many great vendors, and I, I think my one of my favorites was um, encountering Yarn Culture, mm -hmm. which is a store um, based in New York, and. Oh my goodness, like they had Mayak and mm -hmm. Kokan and just, and the the samples they had were fantastic and um, the two ladies that own it, I'm blanking on your names, um, do you remember? No. Okay, we're just beyond lovely and mm -hmm. um, so we had some moment there. Yes. Yeah, you had more of a moment but than I, I did. But I have something to say about yeah. that. So there was some mm. purchasing that happened. Oh. This color. I don't know if it's going to come through. This is Cozy Merino. And this is? Petroleum. Wait, but the, it's a walk collection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's this greeny, oh, it's just not coming up. It's got these light greeny, oh there, that one's showing up. Okay. Yeah. 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 Anyway. That's, there so we, go. we decided on, on the spot there to do a knit along. Oh. Heidi, myself, and a woman who views the podcast. Yeah. Hi. Hi! I, of course, can't remember your name, but so I remember names, yeah. your, I remember her, her soul dot, dot and, and her was, pink. And, yeah, it was so oh. beautiful. And Caitlin didn't find her color, but it's Spass Tricot's carrying this oh. in the fall. Oh, So I, they'll have a huge shipment. Oh, so you good. can, if you remember your color. Yes. And it was, they had tons of samples to try out. Oh. So we all tried out, we've always wanted to knit the Reagan. Right, well, and I, I think that this, image is while it's beautiful what is so it's so much better in person yeah. and what's great is it's reversible so this Isabel Kramer you might, you might begin oh, yeah sorry. um there's this view and then it has this wonderful drapiness to the front and then you can flip the whole thing over mm -hmm. and it has sort of um a different look it's mm -hmm. gorgeous yeah um and yeah look at that I yeah. do love it, so this is definitely so more green. It's more greeny blue than it's coming yeah. up on here. This it has like a lovely. I'm gonna say this word scumminess. <laughs> you know, like yeah. in the best way. Yeah. Like oil. Like you know, yeah, it's an oil. Just, well, that's why it's yeah. called petroleum. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just so fabulous. Yeah. So this was this is mm. not planned, but I again I was swept, yeah. loved being drawn to the color. Oh, and then just trying on that sample. Color. I mean, that yeah. sample sold us, right? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. So she's there cutting the yarn. Know, well, just, <laughs> mm. So that the is only. definitely happening. Yeah, that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, then my other favorite um, booth that we encountered was Brooklyn Haberdashery. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so flipped many out. Things. So this is one of their postcards. Um, and we definitely did some Instagram stories on it. I hope um, you saw that because I don't think I said Oh my the gosh, embroidery so book. The embro we talked about that at Knitting Group. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to do it. And I think Elisa might be thinking of carrying. Oh, good. Or she might have access to something that's very similar. They're, they're made in France and they're little embroidery samplers so you can learn to embroider a bit pages are felt and they're pre-labeled with the stitches so oh. then you would just learn that stitch and put it onto that mm -hmm. page and then by the end you'd have this beautiful collection of all oh. the embroidery stitches I know and they're exquisite I they, the kits are under a hundred dollars yes but you know the quality oh. is yeah I yeah, it's so beautiful it is it is yeah. I, and they had two different sizes like no. one was more of a bo larger book that was about you should look at the stories you saved those I and think I did yeah anyway incredible um, so Brooklyn Haberdashery is based out of Brooklyn New York and oh, um, everything, everything they have is magical it's doesn't it take you back to childhood where there's where you like have a toy that, store yeah, yeah that sense yeah. of delight yes so I 
lost it there. In terms no, you of, didn't. Well, I mean, I was like, I had that, you know, oh. when you had the like, yarn, but I was like, oh my gosh, I need that cute thing and that cute thing yeah. and that cute thing. Oh, so I did yes. get some cute things. I will save one thing for the end okay. of, of the experience here, but um, I got a little project bag that so just, adorable. you know, was, look at this with a little leather closure, and I love the... Um, but then the inside is just this beautiful mm. denim and I and, love their logo. Oh, and that I know. Little swirl little, of, it's just so beautifully made, and there's something about when you have your well, I have my little scissors. But they my, sell all of yeah, all this, this Cocon brand, which I'm going to show you. But um, it's just so they have beautiful little project bags. Everything they have is so beautifully curated. So I fell in love with that. Oh. And then, <laughs> I know right? I know you're good. Um, and then That's I got adorable. this beautiful vintage inspired um, blush. Yeah, I should have gotten one. Of I know. Them. I was in a very but, like not buying any. But I love. Place. It's got this little push. You know, yeah. it's just it, the whole thing. It's just beautifully made and it's gorgeous. Yeah. Anyway, so there's that. And then they have this display. I should have wound some of these beautiful vintage. Um, their needle. Oh. How would you? Describe it. They're use. like a need. You use it for like your embroidery thread, and you would just sort of wind the the excess thread on here, and it would create a beautiful pattern. But she was also like, "Oh, they make beautiful ornaments because they're double sided, oh. so oh. they're vintage." Yes. That's why I bought oh, them. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, these um, are so Caitlin yeah. and oh, your mom. My mom too. But look, I mean, just the beautiful. I don't even know what they'd be says. good for what bobbins too if you're doing tarsia. Something extra. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's that one. I and think then it's look extra at thread, isn't oh, that? Oh, maybe. Ma, L -I -N. maybe. And then look at this little, um, little circus-y. So anyway, adorable. so beautiful. I'm so glad you so got these. So this is totally my jam. Oh, Just this like so, vintage, yeah. something cute that you absolutely don't need in your life at all. But I just, I collect little things that just, they just give me so much joy. The oh, thing, oh. oh. I just want to say, yes. while you were doing that, I was caterjacking the woman. I know. And she was so gracious yeah. about it. Yeah. She did such a beautiful she did. job. Like she did. Like, she obviously does that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, you can do your thing. I'm going to go shop. I know. No, yeah. I know. Anyway, so here's my... I am, but okay. I was going to show the packaging okay. first. So I got something from Coke. Kokana, which is a Japanese company. The little snips I have are from them, too. Also so I Caitlin. lived out over this and this is just beyond this explains me in a nutshell look at this wow. tiny yeah little pin cushion because everybody and needs and then look at the pin with this beautiful rose gold like it's half a little or oh, you know or just yeah. rose anyway um this fills me up Look with so that. much joy i mean it's we should just have it like, i know right there. there for the whole podcast <laughs> get something for it to sit on yeah there we go oh let's see okay maybe not i know but anyway we're work on it. anyway um so we have um we had quite the adventure with this so mm -hmm. i this i was it's like crazy. ooh. I, I mean it this make it's crazy this made me so happy yeah, it, it still makes me happy i look at it and it just feels so where does joy. it live in your life now well i actually had it on a on a skein of yarn for right now uh -huh. just sitting on a uh -huh. out but yeah. well it's um, like paulina my son's russian first grade teacher yeah she oh, would paulina. always i know yeah. I love paul. she would always if she had a favorite pair of shoes she'd just Lay it on her bedside table oh, so she could beautiful. wake up every morning yeah. and look at her shoes. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there and make it me happy. But they yeah. came in all different colors. I think I need to possibly own all of them. And they had them in a little, a little shelf unit that was about the. I mean, just it's so this nice company. to know though, like that this would be the perfect gift for oh, you. That's all it takes. Right. Something tiny, right. Right. cute, vintage. I mean, right. am I? I got home and James like. Yeah, and Shaking kudos his head, to like, Kayla because we had to, you know, so, tear apart the car. So, um, I won't, I won't out her. No, but um, she I think helped. She was my generously. My, one of our friends in the car was helping me um, unsnag some of my knitting, and I was like, you know what, I help? Would a pin help to get that knot out? And she's like, sure, yes. And so we got the pin out, and she unknotted the yarn, and then all of a sudden the pin dropped between the seats in the car and oh, it, it was felt terrible and I was like it's fine 
Because, but inside. Well, I was, I mean, I was okay. like, okay. But yeah. I know, I actually felt like we're going to find the pin. Yeah. Oh, so we looked and looked before dinner, couldn't find it, and then Kayla swooped to the rescue and got under the seats and we found it. So it's And this rescue. is after our second bottle of Prosecco, too. Yes, Heidi, Heidi is knows like, how to travel yeah. well. She was our designated driver and we got to eat or drink so the champagne. Pin was and, found. and she even had like reservations for us yes, around the it way was home. So good. She is amazing. Yes. Thank you, Heidi. <laughs> yeah, it was a great trip. Yeah, great trip. Absolutely. So just oh, and there were people that flew in from all over the country and have like do it because Stitches Midwest. It's in a great Schaumburg's a great location that you can do you know some shopping and and we the hotel should stay was, over next time yeah. and then do the Chicago crawl. Oh, yarn too, crawl. Yes, if it's that same weekend. Yes, I'm not that would sure, be great because the stores are so fabulous yes, too. Yes, so. one and. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that was that was stitches. Mm -hmm. Nina Chicago. Nina that Chicago. Mm -hmm. And they're all remodeling yeah. and having fabrics Beautiful. in them. And, and places I want to, to get... sit in it. And, yeah, yeah. We need exactly. a road trip. Exactly. So, so nice that was there. Was that it? No. Oh, well, I got this yarn too. Oh right. Oh, <clears throat> I'm so jealous. So yeah, this... again. Oh, look how beautiful it goes with my colors. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. So this is. We saw this at. What's the name of it? Zombie Apocalypse? Zombie knit, knit Apocalypse. And there was this Lavender lovely Loon. woman carrying it around. Yes. And anyways, look at this. This is from Lavender Loon. Mm -hmm. It's called Interstate Love. Oh. And it it weighs, I mean, how many? It's 300 yards, 250 grams of superwash merino bulky. Yeah. It is And she had divine. a sample knit up of In the, the Ursa. Ursa which oh. I'm going to try to find for you right oh. now. So say I something think, about um, anything, right? Say, now. say something. Um, no, we just we are in love with her yarn, and she does beautiful work. Um, you're distracting me with your what? Nothing. You're good. Oh, okay. I'm um, find a picture of the Ursa. Yeah, the Ursa. Oh, that's the back view. The back view, it's but a it's this little chunky cropped, cropped I know. with beautiful details. Yeah. Tons of sizes. Say the designer. Oh. The designer is, okay. has a name that's very difficult to pronounce, but I says Jacqueline Sesliak or something like that. Yeah. Do you know no. her name? No. Jack, Jack. Well, here it is, Jacqueline Seslak. So we'll link it below. Yeah, we'll link it yeah, below. It's but gorgeous. I mean, look at the colors in there. I love the it. Yellows and pinks and yeah, and I don't know. You know, again, I feel like this knitting because it's only been a year since we've intensely knit again, mm -hmm. and it's just this odyssey of color. Because who knows if these colors, quote unquote, wash me out? But I. But then you should just make right. them my size. Well, I love them. Yeah, I know because you do look so good in this mm -hmm. color that you're wearing right now. But I'm making it and. I'm drawn to it and then whatever, yeah, I'm right, learning. I'm right. learning about color. Right. So, but I love the pop of yellow. Yeah, it's incredible. Just, and the black. And, and she, the black, yeah. yeah. So, Lavender Loon. Lavender Loon's yarns, check her out. It's She's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so should we talk about whips? Yeah, let's talk about our whip. Okay. Um, so, my current whip, well, we, oh, we can do Cavalcanti because I've got a little bit to show. Yeah. Cavalcanti. Um, where is it? Too many things. Cavalcanti oh. is the oh, Rosa Pomar pattern. Oh, it's downstairs. Oh. That's yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, because it's okay. okay. Is it? I think it's downstairs. I don't have much to show anymore. Rosa Pomar. Oh. But you have your yarn and everything. Yeah, I have my yarn. I mean, okay, so here it is. Um, it's brioche, it's top down, and then you fade. I have it in my Sandy by the Lakeside bag. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Look at that, Sandy, how oh. like perfect they are together. Oh, that's amazing. Right? So you fade the colors as you go down. And I just think it has the most Look at that. Should I just put it on? Yes. I'll put it on. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. This is the most magnificent yarn by La Bienname and Rosa Pomar. It's the Modine. The Modine. But here it is. I have to do the oh, sleeves. Oh, it looks so incredible. It was so fun. So I very I, I will just say that it's one single color brioche. 
but I did it I faded it differently I faded it with two colors and just played around more mm -hmm. than just striping and I did a four color fade and Caitlin is also doing a four color fade yeah. we're both starting yeah. with this color yeah and I'm gonna take it off because it's hot oh it looks so incredible on you thanks this, it, you, I don't know that it's coming out, but it, it has this lavender gray yeah, quality yeah. to this this one here. Yeah. That's so spectacular. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Thank I love you. The, the length of the crop. Oh, you it's did. adorable. It's well, this so is, I just followed the pattern. I love the detail too. Like they have a whole pearl row yeah, before a, they go they into do the that ribbing. Up here too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, the increases. So there's some short rows. This is what we were making a video about. Yeah. I, so my short rows went awry. But so we'll whatever, work, we'll I'll work it. on the short row portion. What we decided is she, you did fine. Yeah, no, I know, but there was just some mistakes. But Jackie was going to basically walk me through it or and I feel like do it for me and then say here, which I it's great. I don't care yeah. if you. It's a collaboration project. Yeah, no, I'm a little lost. I, I took notes on what I did, no. but even if I don't absolutely perfectly yeah. blow by blow match. So um. I've started mine with that gray, and then, uh, I, I don't know, I don't have all of it here. But anyway, just to show you what the, the yarn. looks skeined, uh, or not, um, it's original skein. And it's, this one is the Grello? That's the Grello, and then this is the um, yellow, brick yellow, brick, yellow Brick Graffiti. Oh. Yellow, yellow Brick Road Graffiti. Okay. Um, and then I have one other color that's in my other bag. But anyway, um, what I want to acknowledge is that as we've talked about before I'm not a very rustic yarn oh, person at right. all um, so I have been very hesitant to knit with this because it's just doesn't it's not as soft as I you know whatever mm -hmm. but I started to knit it mm -hmm. and I flipped out oh I know because I, I don't think I truly understood until that moment when people say about oh my gosh it's beautiful to knit with or what it I probably had more of an experience with this yarn than I have had with any other yarn right because it's so tactile and the quality of it mm -hmm. is just incredible yeah you, it's it your hands want to work with it because right. it's just it like you said it's alive right and it so highly recommend it I can't wait to get to a point of just being like, like it's sitting on my whatever area waiting for me to have it fit, you know, fix it. I'm pining for it because oh, it's just really right. that that right. sensual of an experience in terms right. of just that tactile quality. So, right. I yeah. totally. Yeah. I had that same. Yeah. Feeling. So yeah. Get oh. some. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And you and you know we get messages from people all the time saying, yeah. well, how do you get La Bien Aimée yarn? Grab well, my other you one. um. You can go online and order it from from Amy, and um, and then there's some other shops that sell it, like Brooklyn Tweed General. I don't think they have the Modine, but there's shops all over the country that that do sell some of it. Um, anyway, this oh, is the one I gave oh to my Sally. Gosh. But I mean, yes, when, it's just oh, it, it's when you yeah, you know, it's like the squeeze. You factor. should put it on. I just um, curious. The squeeze factor. No, sort of, but whatever. this is made from that yarn too, and it sort and of back? either way, you can wear it oh. either way, and it did sort oh. of change me. I was so into it. Oh, so know. when I went to this, oh look at that on you. Maybe oh. I should bring that to the Cape with me. Oh, oh, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. There you guys, you get look to see that. this again. Right. I mean, yeah. look at the little bits of yeah. Oh, I love this this part right yeah, here yeah that's a great pattern for you lovely mm. nice anyway hold on just a second <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> we decided to, we had to get her yarn yeah i had to stag it up and it just fell so this is um i'm using jackie's this is quail mm -hmm. this is driftwood graffiti this is the grello sorry it looks kind of messy mm -hmm. and then then this is the yellow brick road graffiti so oh. um originally it was just going to be those three Mm -hmm. But I think we just decided it would be lovely. And so here's my progress on it. So, you know, not which, the short rows, which are definitely a challenge. So I would rec highly recommend having a friend help you. Mm -hmm. um, but oh, you that's can see, pretty. Yeah, that pretty little. My, 
right side, wrong side, which I found is very important with the brioche. Um, but just, again, the brioche itself, this, I mean, the squish factor, mm -hmm. it's just, so it is, it's a thing of beauty. Oh, I love seeing yeah. it actually at that phase, because it's beautiful yeah. at that phase. And what it told me when I started it, because remember, we just were kind of, and yeah. we went through a little bit of ambivalence. Yeah. I'm sorry that my colors, I'll, you'll have to link, because I can't find the pattern where I wrote down all the color names. So Oh, of yours? I'll, oh, it, It'll yeah, be in the project notes. Yeah. It's also on Ravelry. So, but, but we had tried, if you recall from before, knitting it and just stocking it and not yes, liking it no, and stocking it. It, it needs needed texture. To be, yeah, it definitely needs that, and then it comes to life. So I'm going to be fading into this, which will not be very different, but it definitely has more of the rusty quality to it, so we have to figure out when to start that part. But anyway, that's where we are. Yeah, So, but um, it, is, it's, it adds this layer of fun anyways, because it so doesn't matter. You can just visually go, yeah, oh, it's time. Right. I'm going to start fading. So that's, that's exciting. Very satisfying. Okay, so then while well, I've been waiting for you to come back from your adventure so you can fix my knitting... I have been working on my as did I leave the um, my as if tea, and we've linked this before. Mm -hmm. We'll link it again. Um, oh, I did make it a discovery too. So the, it's in a messy state right now of work in progress that I'm gonna try not to snag it. So let me get it in a better place okay. um, to show. And just You're gonna look at. So this is Shay Johnson. Shay Johnson is the designer. Um, Oh, I'm so sorry. This is totally tangled. Um, talk about it while I... Well, it's Aaron and mohair. And yeah. the, it's just, again, it's these delights of the silk mohair with the wool and making choices. And I remember when we went, the, when we first went to Firefly, Caitlin was drawn to this mohair. And what I discovered is I've been quoting it wrong because I, of course, did not keep the tag with the yarn. Judgment, yeah. no, no judgment bubble. No. Um, and I discovered this is what is a great discovery. It wasn't, um, it wasn't Quince, Quint, no, um, Shibui. Mm -hmm. It's it's Julie Aslin's Anatolia. Oh, yes, we figured it out. I How had did you figure Elisa it out? Elisa looked it up um, on my account, and she's like, oh. I've she's like, I've never had Shibui silk cloud. Oh, I've never so sold she, it. She kept track for you. She did, and she was like, No, it was my first round of Julie oh. Aslin um, mohair Anatolia, which I think is the same base. We think it's the same base, but oh anyway. So I bought. So this is my oh Brooklyn Tweed my God, ranch. Uh, ranch, and oh. it, the color's not quite. You know, it's very much this beet color. And then just, and then started the mohair for the front. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? And she has, like, there we go. Oh, So Caitlin. it'll look, you know, basically. Oh, and so beautiful. what we, what I did was, with Jackie's help, I did a provisional cast on because it's very cropped and it's bottom up, which is hard when you're busty to do bottom up right. because it's just so many things play into whether it's going to fit right. So I took your sample that you or your knit and I still have. Yeah, it's fine. here. It's here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. You know, remember the earrings? You you still have those? No, no. Yeah. I yeah. no. I was after our um, trunk show. Yeah. I hadn't cleaned up until oh. this morning. Oh, and then, oh. And then I was like, where, where is it? And no, I, I have it. That's all. Anyway, so I've just, um, you, so I did a provisional cast on so I can go back and add length, but I wanted to get this part done first and figure out how it fits on the shoulder so the, the drape is right sure. and all of that. Um, so it's a fun pattern. You've already talked about it in a previous podcast. I won't go into it, but um, it'll be fun. And one of the things we're looking forward mm -hmm. to at Rhinebeck um, is Chris, I it yeah, up? I just want to see Christy Glass mm -hmm. is hosting a... Um, a bowling as if tea night on Saturday of Rhinebeck weekend in Rhine at the Rhinebeck mm -hmm. Festival, oh, and um, and so Shay Johnson will be at this uh, bowling event. The tickets are on sale now; it's limited. So if you're interested, check out Christy Glass's um, Insta stories. Um, but anyway, so my goal is to you know for us to wear it for that event, and I'm making good progress. I basically started on the back, so then you 
um, and doing the mohair for the back and then I'll knit down. So there's this colorway that Fiber for the People makes called Kick Drum. Oh, I love. Kick I would drum. love to do one oh, of these in Kick Drum. That would be amazing. I know. I don't think she makes it an errand. Make it an errand. Oh, way. make it an errand. <laughs> anyway, so that's um. That's, That's that. beautiful, Caitlin. And then my, you want to see my other work in progress? Did we show these? Oh, no. Okay, so we um, uh, were fortunate enough on one of Hohe's updates um, to get one of, oh, get her so yellow beautiful. bag. Um, so it's definitely a sock um, size or beginning project or bag. Or purse, because I yeah. wear mine as a clutch. Yeah, you can wear it as a clutch. And what's nice about it is you can undo this handle and then put it like that and then it's this beautiful you know you could knit with it you could have it as you're hanging off as a clutch beautiful suede the quality of these bags is amazing Stunning. and these handles this leather will age and mm -hmm. change and um, and then it's just this heavy sort of denim -y fabric inside with um, there's a pocket um, and it's just really nice hardware so it's a beautiful bag um, she's gonna make little bags that's her next oh thing. really yeah but in her next update that'll fit in here yellow and black ones oh really so want oh, that geez. too i will want one mm. of and then she has a green color that she just mm -hmm. launched and mm -hmm. anyway beautiful I um, love so look for her so updates much. and then you know she ships them out and um so it's beautiful quality bag so anyway in my beautiful <laughs> quality hohi bag is oh, my well I'm so I'm getting ready to oh. go on this trip oh. and I'm trying to figure out what to knit. Oh, did you bring an un did we show this yarn yet? Yeah, this is from our wool and honey trip. This is the yeah. Earl Grey okay. tea company oh, yarn. Oh, yeah, I, I did show it. it. Wonder if you can see the, the stellina. No. It has yeah. this beautiful coppery stellina. Anyways, I haven't like been it. able to see it. Can you see it? No. It's like it's like Stellina just so anyway, we need the sun to come out. We do. Anyway, so I am I, swatching. This is a very exciting knitting. I'm swatching for the Millie sweater, um, Wool and Cookies, Meg, uh, from Wool and Cookies, and the Nice and Knit Women are, this the Millie is, well, I won't try to show all their details. The Millie, and Jackie's talked about this before, mm -hmm. it's this boxy, um, simple um, fingering weight sweater and so I'm swatching anyway this is really not exciting and my hair is all over it do you but, are you excited I mean because the thing is is doesn't this just remind you of being at wool and honey yes. and being with Meg oh yeah and just that's so such a special place yeah it's such a special so I'm so glad you have a knit from that time oh I know I know so mm -hmm. not sure if I'm going to bring this on my trip or not we're going to talk that talk me oh, through this okay. but anyway so I'm just swatching it's so it's just beautiful pale yeah. Anyway, absolutely wonderful. not very exciting at the moment, but that's what. Oh, it is exciting. Oh, it's okay. Beautiful yarn. It'll be a yeah. great project. Um, it's when we went to both Wool and Honey and Stitches Midwest. Everybody was also saying hi to Sally. So I feel oh, like I, I know. Need to say, Sally's at yoga right now. That's <laughs> good for Sally and Jamie. Yes, We're but, podcasting yeah, and doing. Um, we, we think this is healthy for our brains to, you know, talk about creative things and, but <laughs> right? So we're going to, we're, sh we're showing Sally's whips. Is that yes. Weird? I'm going to show Jamie's first. So Jamie oh. saw this at Wool and Honey. Oh, so gorgeous. This is the Ritual, uh, Ritual Dyes backpack. I have one in two and I wore it everywhere in Montreal. I highly, I yeah. love this. I highly recommend it. Amazing. I've been bag. converted too because it, it. Oh, yeah, because you were mine. Yeah, and, and then yeah, I did oh. get Jamie her own beautiful little Notions sisters. Bag, so I did oh, succeed that. with that. Can we just show that? Like, the quality of their bags is just beautiful. Yeah. A little, is there a pocket in there? And oh, it's so beautiful. This is, I think this is a new shape for them too. I actually. It, has, it definitely has a flatter bottom because it sits. I'm trying to figure out what Jamie's making here. I think she's it's like the Georgetown. Yes. Georgetown. Here it comes. Here comes what she's making. Terrible picture. Terrible. So right. it has the shawl collar and, um, oh, yeah. yeah, it's a very terrible picture. Oh my gosh. Wow. Whoa. I mean, and so this is cashmere, right? Yeah. Oh my God, Kayla. Oh, I'm you so jealous. Oh, uh, we went through like what kind of 
twisted, I think this is called broken rib. This is so divine. So this is from Pearl, Pearl Soho. Soho. Pearl Soho, cashmere oh. merino bloom. This yarn this is to die for. Yeah. So I mean, can you see the halo? Look at look at that halo. That is incredible. Yeah. So oh, oh my god. Like oh, it's just gonna feel so <laughs> I know, good. I'm so jealous. So good, Jamie. <laughs> So good. Uh, so we'll show you her that. Her stitches look beautiful. I mean, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I love this rib, though. Look at that yeah. texture. I, and I think that's not in the pattern. She right, she decided like not to do twisted ribs. So she's, she's, and then the collar it's will be all of this, over. too. I mean, can you yeah. imagine? Oh. She's a very meticulous knitter. Yes, she is. So that's Kudos Jamie's knit. And then <laughs> Sally has gone through so many iterations with this oh, Julia Slane Lazenby K. Look at this. Do you see the Charlotte? green pops? Oh. Yeah, our cam did you see our camera yeah. just worked to get that yeah. in? So she's going to stripe it with oh. our leftover biscotti. Mm -hmm. So that'll be amazing. And oh. this is the oh, Sony Accomplished. I'm putting it on because why not? Yeah, you need your color printer. I, I know it's out of ink. So this is an this is Melissa's design from Espas Co. It's a yeah. free pattern. Thank you, Espas Co. for always putting out free patterns. Yeah. That is such a generous thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, not to give away too much. Well, um, since it's free. No, that's true. I mean, that's true. So, so a little yeah. So Sally, I didn't get to see. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, I mean, look at it that looks color so good on her. Oh, we. We, I yeah. love how big the neckline is, yeah. too. So it's just going to be fabulous. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Amazing. So she's got it in her book, 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 book. bag that yeah. I gave her. I have to go, whatever, I'm outing my mother. Her her knitting bags aren't as neat as I'd like, so I cleaned her knitting bag for her this morning. <laughs> but Thought it's nice. Bubble. Oh, wait. What's? Yeah, I know, but I'm being helpful and slightly and judgmental. <laughs> Wait, can what's the what's the spin for that? Oh, um, the helpful part? <laughs> yeah, something. It's like helping that. you feel calmer. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm yeah. And anyway, okay. It was good. It was a good thing. So, so I'm gonna just mention that I did go to Montreal. <laughs> I think I'm gonna mention that at this point. Okay. For my birthday. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It was so fantastic. Yes, tell us about it. I mean, Montreal is a beautiful city, and I stayed in old Montreal. So old Montreal. Oh, yeah, you know, old. down by the port, mm -hmm. and um, oh, I just you know, such a city full of art and full of food and full of the French language, yeah. and it was just a dream to submerse myself. Did in it that. feel like you were in another country? I mean, other oh, than Canada? The, all the French? Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Did and you all... pick up some of your French? Oh, yeah. Back? It was so funny. I mean, it's called franglais. Yeah. When I speak it. It's franglais. hideous. That sounds close to frogging. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's like sounds... undoing the language, yeah. right? So I actually, I have so much to say about it, but I feel like we're already, you know, an hour and a half in, Who but cares? Okay. you gotta say it. Okay. Well, you're gonna save it for next time. <laughs> I, know, I guess, I guess. Um, but let's see. I mean, of course, the highlight for sure was um, spending time with um, Melissa and Lisa Hi. from Espastri from Espastri Co. and visiting their store. And I also had a surprise visit from with Sandy by the Lake. Oh my god, that's amazing! <laughs> which was so funny because she was in Montreal too at the same time. And we were within a mile of each That's other, crazy. so we just kept getting met. closer. We just met at a coffee shop between us and had cappuccino together on oh. my birthday. Oh, so it was That's really so delightful sweet. and really, um, the whole trip was magical. And it was just, it was kind of just a whim to go, mm -hmm. a crazy whim to just throw myself. I literally told every bartender, every customs officer, why are you here? And I'm like, to visit a spa streak home. And they're like, what? <laughs> what? Like, I assume, I didn't really, but like, the Oh whole, my God, you totally said that to everyone. I, I did. And, and can these, I Instagram story totally, your response to I know, my... All these you. hip, young, you know, French Canadians mm -hmm. were like, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But anyways, we had so many delicious 
eating experiences, but just the time, the conversation, um, I will just always treasure that. So I wish you were there, I but I absolutely think it should just be an annual odyssey, or at least yes. we have to go together yeah, again, for sure. you know, and maybe we'll drive and we'll, I know, do, a little we'll stop in Toronto mm -hmm. and we'll yeah. go up to Montreal. We'll because, plan it for next summer. We should definitely do that. Yeah. Maybe that's where we should have a yeah. little knitting retreat we've been talking about. Yeah, absolutely. So, I, I mean, I didn't, I wrote a, it was fun. Oh my gosh, your poem or your, would you call that a poem? It is a poem, poem yeah. About a spa tree co was so yeah. incredible. Yeah. I posted so, that on Kenny too. Uh, that's on our Instagram feed. Because sometimes things are just so special, you don't even know how to preserve them. That's actually. Well, a, you preserved it pretty yeah, well. I no, mean, that, your writing that does is help. just, wow. It does help, but uh, I, I've, I've had to just. Oh, there's a there's a there's a name for that that we all feel when something's so oh, wonderful mm -hmm. and yeah. it passes and you just called joy. It's joy and right. then the joy yeah. 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 So it really was It's kind of like if you could put it into a visual <laughs> it might be this. It's contained in a yeah perfect container. Full yeah. of beauty and yeah no I I mean I know there's uh, you know there's daily life and everything but that whole trip I was just sub submerged in beauty and magic and and well essential and yeah. love and just a, it was a sensual experience mm -hmm. extraordinaire so I'm so grateful and um, I, I will just say um, <laughs> I, well, that's it. You know, I'm just so grateful, and I, I'm I don't have words for it. But right, it was a well, good I'm time. I'm so happy for you. And <laughs> I actually, I will say this much. Um, I have just been thinking so much about knitting and how I need to be grounded. And one of the things I came up with for myself with my knitting while I was up there was this acronym, which I will share with you right now. So, Can't wait. I know. So, the, because I'm a masterful forgetter, and I'm a masterful sinker into thoughts that aren't helpful to me. Oh. <laughs> so, so, here's, the Sorry. acronym is AIM. Okay. And that stands, the first one is A stands for agency. And I, when I think about knitting, and what I've been drawn to, I mean, for instance, with the Spas Tree Co., I love the story of their friendship, and mm -hmm. they're deciding to create a yarn shop. Mm -hmm or they're deciding to start designing and how people take these small risks and how we do it like how just even think about the cavalgante yeah. and how we were drawn to the yarn we were afraid of the project we started the yeah. pro you know and all that that process of agency in your life is very fulfilling mm -hmm. and satisfying mm -hmm. that knitting brings you. sure and i like seeing it in other people too right that that makes you sit and have be grounded in your own power to make decisions I like that so agency absolutely why I love knitting and then the I stands for invitation mm -hmm. and like think about the invitations that we've received oh right think about the invitations we've offered mm -hmm. in the community that we've right. created or the, you know and the invitation could literally be the person that walks up to you at a show and says you know I can picture her sweet face the, the, there was the yarn wife and the yarn and the knitter <laughs> and do you remember the yarn wife had to say she wants to meet you because she's shy can't be, but hello at, we were at Stitches Midwest and she the yarn wife was wearing oh, a sole dot okay huh? yes you know just yes. how right okay or, the yarn wife okay I yeah to, sorry yeah. it's okay yeah or the woman who says to me you know I want to have a knitting best friend yeah you right know? <laughs> right like so you, we create those mm -hmm. through knitting. Right. Create these relationships, or it even could be the invitation to like try this pattern mm -hmm. because you see somebody else do it. Right. That whole relational could, piece. Yeah. Almost also inspiration. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. I love that. Mm -hmm. And even like what Cece said at the diversity talk, she was like inviting you to take a risk mm -hmm. and have friendships outside yes. of your tiny little circle. Mm -hmm. um, and I have truly loved that. I have truly, like, for instance, when knitting vicariously, you know, Caroline, you know, when she decided to, to, I don't know, to shout out our podcast right. a thousand, you know, months ago. Right. The connection. Yeah. yeah I know. It was it's crazy. Amazing. And it's not, it's not entering on the ego level. No. It's entering on the heart level. Oh, it just, it, 
uh, the expansion of mm -hmm. of our yeah. community is just incredible. Yeah. It, so if I compare that to my perfectionism on my floats or not, it's like <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. Yeah. And then M, it's not as groundbreaking. <laughs> M is for yeah. M is just mindfulness oh, because I actually do feel. Knitting has replaced sure. yoga for me in the thing that just makes me feel very, uh, I've said this, it's almost like boring to say it again, but I knit and I feel like I'm getting into bathing in water yeah. or diving into a pool. It's just so soothing to have this beautiful presencing tool. And if I remember that, then it, it, it I don't know, it, whether or not it works out or whether or yeah. not I have to, it's fine. Oh, I was going to mention that about making mistakes. I will in just a second. So aim. aim. That's like my it. grounding acronym. I like What's that. What's my aim? I like that. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't poetry. No, but feels, <laughs> I, I swear to God that, that Espace Tricot poem is the most liked poem I've ever posted. I write poetry. It's the most what? Liked one. Oh. I write poetry on my personal website mm -hmm. from time to time. You and it's your personal, complete, your or personal Instagram, Instagram. Mm -hmm. it's completely okay, but that that will get 10 likes. It's fine. Well, I think and the fact that you're talking about a Spas Co. it was something yes. that we can all, all connect to, even yeah. if we've never been there, we've never watched the, you know, yeah. whatever your experience yeah. with a Spas Co. I think it spoke to all of us that just want to be want that door open and we want to be able to just go <laughs> yeah, in right yeah that was it that yeah. was it was like it was, it was so beautiful thank yeah. you yeah and I, I mean I tried to when I read a poem I the, a poem that I like invites me in and includes me and allows me to imagine myself in the poem mm. so when I write them I try to do that for my imagined reader too yeah like well, you accomplished um Anyway, so back to a mistake. Back to a mistake. I will say that in this brioche, I messed it up like right in the front, and it does. I fixed it, oh. but I had to tink back like several rows in a little section of brioche, and you know the chaos of oh my god, right. am I gonna like mess up this whole project? Because I remember that from last yeah. summer, and I, I had to keep widening the section that I was fixing to get it to the part where it's like an nothing unraveling. was twisted. But I, all I'm going to say, it was like my brain, I remember this from last year, just not being able to see your mistakes and fix mm -hmm. them. That was the frightening thing. Right. Was like, you know, having no safety belt or something like that. But now I can and did. And it was like so triumphant. Good. Yeah. Well, so I will be calling you when I have that moment or yes. moments. Yes. And yes. I, I will really, say. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna throw it out here, and then we have yeah. a couple more things to share. Um, I have a beloved uh, young woman oh. in my life named Lily. Hi, Lily. And Lily oh is going gosh. off to college. Lily chose this yarn. This oh, is okay. Farmer's Daughter's oh Fiber. Oh my gosh. She loved the name too. It's Foxy called, Lady. No, the oh, colorway. That's, oh. that's the it's I've Got Dreams oh. to Remember. Oh. So she likes jewel tones. And um, it's Foxy Lady, which is seventy percent merino and thirty percent silk. Yeah. I mean oh my amazing, gosh. right? Wow. So this is the sweater she wants yeah. me to make oh. her. The diaphanous raglan. Di yeah, di um, diaphanous raglan. And there's so many versions with yeah. a little fluttery sleeve, which yeah. I'm drawn to. But look at that mohair. Yeah, isn't that incredible? That's a mighty... M oh, this is Surrey, isn't it? No, that's that's not Surrey. It's not. Oh, it's, it has a Surrey quality to it. It's very... Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Very... It doesn't feel as fine as most of mine. Yeah, so I'll make. I, I was. I haven't. Life has gotten too busy. I the haven't color, taught her to knit yet. It has um, one's layer than the other. Yeah. No, I'm gonna. They are dealing with that. With oh, me. really? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I just wanted to show it. Um, oh. I wow. haven't taught her how to knit yet. I want to just show another oh. pattern. Just why not? This is. The same woman who did Ranunculus. Yeah, cafe, Knit Cafe Midori. Yeah, aren't those fabulous views? And yeah. it's that same 
variety of yarns and views and sleeves. As the ranunculus. As the ranunculus, yeah. and it just seems so delightful. Yeah, that looks so amazing. So someday. I love this version. I like kind this and this yeah. and this. Actually, I like every All version. Mm -hmm. So that someday, maybe, but you can see we have a lot of knitting to get to. Oh, here was, here oh. was the line from Heidi. Yeah. My little... Somewhere. So we had a wonderful, what do you call it, um, what it mailed, what it, when you get something in the mail? Party in the oh, Post. Oh, Party in the Post Sorry before you sound. left for your trip. Um, we were contacted by Heidi um, from Folk City Fiber. I'm just going to show her logo um, so you can see. Um, and she oh, sent so us good. the loveliest package and I wish she could have heard our squeals of delight. Um, and she's sharing with us her yarn that she, um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read what it says about the, the products. And before um, you, before you read it, I just want to say that oh, this is Coriadale Merino oh and it gosh. has that same yes. divine light squish, mm -hmm. you know, it's just oh really, my gosh. The, I, I, the colors, the, look at the colors. Yeah. Oh, and this one is just, I don't know, I keep flipping over this one with the pinks and the yeah the yellows and so it's 100 yeah so it's um, 50 grams 220 yards um, so how she describes her yarn says she says this yarn is solar dyed using natural pigments including cochineal I'm probably killing that logwood osage orange and nettle um, also some of my silk and wool soap made with so I'm going to show this. So made with rich blend of olive, olive, coconut, palm, and castor oils, as well as a hint of lanolin oh, so for great. super moisturizing properties. Um, um, and Tessa silk, gives, oh, which apply, which which aptly gives the soap a silky quality. I use this for hand wow. washing my fiber creations, and naturally, it's great in the bath as well. Um, so she, um, hopefully it's ready to go, um, but she is doing this wonderful thing for our viewers mm -hmm. where on her Etsy shop, which again, we'll, we'll link all the details below, um, mm -hmm. it's, which is Folk City Studio. Mm -hmm. um, she's saying, um, she's gifting all of you, um, if you go online and make a purchase, um, or you go online um, and use the, co the code CADDYJACKS, all in caps, um, you'll receive 25% off her um, any of her knitwear patterns and that goes till the end of September um, anyway it's just in time for last minute um, Rhinebeck knitting mm -hmm. um, but while you're buying her patterns don't forget her, to, yarns, her yarn is spectacular so I can't wait to knit with this and she's also a poet oh. and she does um, she's a professor of letterpress I think yeah. or something graphic arts or something like that yeah well, yeah but she's always designs her own she's you know she's knits her own design yeah and i love her sort of byline it says folk city it's not a place it's a state of mind mm -hmm. um and then she um sent us along this beautiful sock pattern for um meadow sweet ankle socks um and there's the picture um of the sock Isn't that beautiful texture Anyway, so Heidi, fun. thank you so yeah, much. It was just a, such a delight, and I think we just are going to need to leave this out and just look how beautiful it, it goes with my little pin cushion. You see oh, that? There you go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the colors, the, yeah. our, the depth of colors is just spectacular, and to yeah. think how much time and effort and love how and craftsmanship. How much agency she has yes. in her life, and oh my then gosh. this invitation to go and see her shop. And, oh. and if... And for you to go, am I drawn to that or not? And, right. And and oh, explore right. all these these incredible makers that right. we get to have. You know, I know share on, their joy with yeah, us. I mean, so it's just we just love, and we hope that you do um, appreciate um, the fact that we just talk about different makers because we just want to promote people and and all the good things that they're doing, and it's just sharing the joy. So yes. that's our goal. Um, Absolutely. Anyway, so fingering away rustic wool. Mm, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yes. Look how it goes well with little yeah. Anyway, right so thank you, Heidi. 
That yeah. was so sweet and generous, and um, we thank you. Yeah, and and we thank you for watching yeah. today. Yes, and sticking with us yeah. and um, knitting away. I'm sure you're. Well, yeah, away. that's right. We are going to have breakfast. I, I'm hoping that our microphone has not been picking up my oh, rumbling stomach. stomach. I haven't I'm, heard it. Oh, good, because I'm like hungry. Um, so we have discovered that we like to have appetizers at breakfast. <laughs> I, I love your that version of we. of we. Well, you participated. Well, I, I know, but it, we. I know, okay. but yes. <laughs> but try this. Next time you go out for breakfast, have pancakes beforehand for the appetizer. Well, it's pigs in a blanket. Yeah, and, even oh, better. Oh, so good. So we're probably you know, torturing people. Sorry, but yeah. yeah. And then we have our... We ha It was good. When I was in Montreal, by the way, every time I went for coffee, I said to the barista... Just make me the drink that you love. Oh, because so I, you've expanded your. Uh, but what ironically, you every single person made cappuccinos. Oh, and they just some people had soy in them, and oh. some people, you know, whatever. But that hmm. was what they universally made me. And same with when I went out to eat. Every time I just let the. Look at you! You just letting. Yeah. Oh, I'll give you. I'll give you a lasting tip from. The bar, one of the bartenders at one of the restaurants that we stayed at. Oh, if I remember the name of the restaurant, I'll put it in the show notes below because it was absolutely delightful. It was on the street that our hotel was on, mm -hmm. and he, he was just one of these people that obviously loves what he's doing mm -hmm. and loves the sensuality of food and talking about it and people and inviting them in yeah. and that discourse and that exchange. And it was our first night there, and of course we sat next to the most beautiful young French couple uh -huh. ever, which was fine. It was like, <laughs> right, because right? I'm sure you're such a dud. <laughs> oh. At any rate, and good thing somebody took you out to dinner, right? I did <laughs> ask him, of, and this is pretty dorky of me, but I don't care. I just wanted to know if you were going to give somebody advice on how to be, and this is not exactly what I said, more like you, what would it be? You know, like To the I, bartender? Yeah, because I said you so clearly enjoy these exchanges, yeah. but some of us are introverts and find right. it a challenge. Some of us being you? I'm an introvert. Oh, whatever. <laughs> that is... <laughs> well, and No, anyway, there's got to be a new... You, no. All that means is that you your energy is depleted when you're in crowds and you know that like after a I, crowd situation okay, I'm exhausted <laughs> I'm sorry that this is where this that, is the knitting best friend when she calls bullshit yeah total me. bullshit I, I mean like you're exhausted because you're like what about this let me answer let me do 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 okay. like right and you're mm -hmm. like feeding off those people's energy you've sucked their energy dry in okay. a good way that is that is not an it's introvert. Okay. So what <laughs> what Mitch said. Regret, what did Mitch say? Forget what she's saying. He said, and we've heard this before. It doesn't sound like much, but I actually think it's true. It's mm -hmm. He said, "Be interested rather than be interesting." There you go. You mm -hmm. do that very well. Yeah. Yes, and you do that. I actually, you are a perfect. You are a master at that. Yeah. Yeah. And I do think, like that is a nugget because. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Right. Well, and there are so many people that. No, I like absorb energy as opposed to putting it out well, or I, drain energy. Yeah. I whatever. No, I actually thought of you and James and oh. how you are so good at eating at a bar and being yeah. in being enjoying the exchange. Yes. And I was noticing that I wasn't as good, and I had to like push yourself, push back. myself right. to just go. So what if I'm doing it wrong? So what? If, for instance, I like to eat off of one plate and I don't want two plates, I want to eat off the one plate, is there going to be, like, somebody above going, you're doing it wrong? Well, that and that's the you, though, yeah, you yeah. having that dialogue okay. of doing it wrong and, like, right. give me the plate. Yeah. So, anyways. Yeah. And no, it's good. Good for you. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways. Are we... Are we... Yeah. So, done? we're coming back, Montreal, and I'm bringing Caitlin yeah. with me. Yes, yes, yes. But we're gearing up for Rhinebeck mm -hmm. um, and seeing all seeing all the people there and connecting. And I don't know how we're going to sustain ourselves in terms of that, the fact that you're an introvert. Um, 
But anyway, where's I, I mean, just count I'll be down. interested, but I won't be interested. I won't worry about that. No, don't worry no, about don't that. Don't worry about it. Anyway, yeah. um, so that's just so exciting to be looking forward to. And um, mm-hmm. and we are really, I mean, we, had, we talked about briefly at like Christy Glass um, doing her uh, bowling night, but she's also um, in a response to the fact that people were not able, not everybody could get to uh, take us to India Untangled. Mm-hmm. She is doing, um, she's... Um, Another maker. Yeah, she's working with um, I think it's Leah from Tink Knit, and they're doing um, is it the knit at the knitting garage? Anyway, check out Christy's stories. But she's doing a Friday night event where there'll be additional vendors um, that won't wouldn't be at Indie, and it's a great way to just be able to share the love again. And she's doing a knit night. Um, wool and cookies will be <laughs> Meg will be hosting a cookie contest and yeah and Christina and Tad from uh, Chelsea yarns will be the judges and I have my entry ready oh really yeah. yeah perfect and um anyway it's going to be a knit night so hopefully we'll see lots of you there mm-hmm. and um anyway we're excited so there's just a lot of wonderful events to be looking forward to so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. anyway yeah so uh definitely enjoy this this last bit of summer on on Cape I Cod, know, I'm Caitlin. Excited. I'm, excited. I'm happy for you. I did I did sc- um, scope out one yarn store in Provincetown that I'm going oh, to try to check out. I know. Such, such a, a vibrant. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. But yes, very excited. So Okay, well, we love you and hope you happy knitting and and we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye.